Hey guys, another edition of uh, Hanging Out with Angie V. Sebastian, whatever you want to call me, I does not bug me. So, today, you know, going through separation and uh, divorce and seeing the other person moving on, and you're kind of stuck in the past, you know, you're having a hard time letting go. You know, it's just, it's tough. I like to, I like to, I want to start out with another song again. This one is by a lady named Jean Shepherd, and the song is Slipping Away. So I'll just go a little bit. Monday's promise is Tuesday's line. Saturday's party is Sunday's fine. Something's wrong with you and I. Love's gone wrong, they used to be right, and I can feel it slipping away, slowly, slowly slipping away. It'll be gone in a few more days if we don't stop this love far from slipping away. So, two ways to look at that. One, you can be the guy that or, you know what, let's fight for it, let's make it work. If you got the time and patience, go for it. But when you're being pushed away by the person, you have to be willing to accept the loss. And my relationship wasn't perfect. I have done my fair share of things I regret. And I know she feels the same way, and we just, you know, we're at that time in our life where it's time to go our separate ways. It's hard. I don't go to day without thinking about it a hundred times. But when you get to this crossroad, I feel like you either accept it and try to work through it, or you sit in denial. And that's what I did at first. I sat in denial thinking, oh, she'll take me back. Oh, you know, we can get through all this. And, you know, you know, sometimes it's better not to work it out. You know, if I'm going to bring stuff up against her in the future, vice versa, you know, it, is that really a happy life? Is that what you want? You know, think about it. I'm 26, found myself, and I see people like my grandma and grandpa who have been married. A long time. And their marriage isn't, you know, every marriage has its ups and downs, and I get that. But the point is, I think it's important to decide, make that decision on is it worth fighting for or not. And in my case, it's not because the other party's ready to move on. I have my issues, I cost her to make her feel like that. And she's given me reasons to feel the way I feel right now, so ending things is what's going to end up being desperate. It's not easy, but I feel if I'm willing to accept that it's over, I can put, I can work through it. If I want to live in denial and say, oh, I can get her back, oh, I can get her back, I'm never going to get past it. I'm never going to work myself through this. So, I'm taking it day by day. Every time I get down, I get you know, like in the last video, think about a good memory. I, I really stand by that. Every time I'm sad, if I can talk to somebody, well, yesterday I did. I made a call to a family member because I was feeling really down. And, you know, talking to them made a huge difference. And, you know, family is always there for me. I didn't see that you know, before this, for whatever reason, I was uncomfortable, really uncomfortable about talking to people. And through that, through this, you know, that's my biggest thing I've opened up. You know, my family, my friends, they're not going to judge me. If they're really your family, really your friends, they're not going to judge you. They're going to be there for you. They're going to help you work through it. That's how my family's done. It's unbelievable and it brings me so much happiness. 
the way everybody comes together and is helping me through this. It, it, I just can't even thank everybody enough. Between family, friends, doctors, nurses, even the cleaning lady that comes to my room every day. She just made my day. She is the sweetest lady. And, and every day she came in, we talked for about 10 minutes, and then she'd do her thing and leave. But, you know, all these kind hearted people, and I know you got some too in your life, so I don't ever feel alone. If you're going through a rough relationship, go to a church. You just go talk to somebody. You don't have to put yourself through what I did. Go to a doctor. Talk to them. There's phone numbers you can call. Don't be scared. I think it's better to break down and humble yourself and tell everything to somebody than to keep in. And that's what I'm trying to do with this. <clears throat> because I am having a hard time but you know, my, my previous relationship and moving forward. But, you know, I'm finding peace every day knowing that, hey, I'm working through it. I'm working through it. I slip. I say mean things to her. She says, you know, she just is it right back. Not just how it is. Tensions are high and whatever. Point is, at the end of the day, it comes down to those kids I got. And their happiness. And I have been, haven't been focusing on that. You know, with the ladies, me and her have been communicating. So, like I said, you know, you got to put your emotions to the side. Not completely. Just enough so you can focus on your kids. Realize that, hey, if I make her life hell, she's going to make my life hell. And then, you know, that really affects the kids. So, work past it. Just, you know, you're divorced. You go pick up your kids, you leave. A couple of days later, you bring them back. You don't have to go in the house. You don't need to sit down and have a cup of coffee. You know, chat. Do what you got to do and put it out. Make it easy for the kids. Make it easier on you. In the past, you know, I, I don't like to make things easy on myself, but I'm working on it. And these videos are making it making a big difference in my life and I hope it's helping some of you. And I'm, I'm willing to talk to anybody. Like I said, comment, message, I finally set up a Instagram, got the Facebook page, I'm on Snapchat, working on the TikTok. I just want to get things out there. I just want to help people. But, like I said, you gotta focus on yourself. Once you get yourself figured out, focus on your kids. You're focusing on yourself so you and the other party can make things easier for those kids. And then you're focusing on the kids to make it easier since they're going back and forth. And that's what I meant. Not easy, not fun, but due to my support team, I'm able to get through it, and I know if I'm having a bad day, I got a phone full of numbers I can call. Like I said, if you don't have a phone, you have whatever reason, go to church, go to a grocery store. I don't, you know, go talk to somebody. It's not worth letting your life go. It's not. And I... I'm so grateful that it didn't work and that I'm here and someone's looking out for me. The full story of everything that happened that <coughs> I shouldn't be here. Really shouldn't, but I am. And I, I feel I have to share my message with everyone. I feel like that's something I have to do. Uh, take that back. Not have to. I want to. I'm enjoying this so much. 
I look forward to making videos. I look forward to hopefully talking to some of you, hearing your stories, helping you through whatever I can. That's what I'm here for. <clears throat> but, to sum things up, relationships are hard. I talk to more than enough people to figure that one out. Breakups are harder. And I, I'm not there yet. I'm working on it. But, like I said, I need to figure out how to make it easy for the kids. You know, necessarily, you're not doing it for her. You're, you're doing it for your kids. You know, there's no sense in dragging them through the mud. So, take care of your kids. Take care of yourself. Don't be scared to talk to anybody. And, you know, you can check me out on Instagram. I don't do Twitter. Snapchat. TikTok. Facebook. Send me a message anywhere. I don't care. I'm, I'm here. I'm here to help you guys. I love you all. You guys are all great. All great people. Nothing you've done can't be forgiven. Because the only person that has to forgive is yourself. And if you can't forgive yourself, you're never going to move on. You're never going to get past what has been bugging you and bothering you. So love yourself. Forgive yourself. Try to be your best self. And that sounds good, y'all. God bless. Have a great day. You're amazing people.